everyone, Tammy E. here for an Axtell Retiree. Welcome back to my channel. My dog Mazda is by me because I'm in this chair. And um, as you can see, I don't have my new set quite yet done, but we're working on that. Um, working on a lot of different little small projects of remodeling around our house like this. And decorating, I guess that would come under hand. I have a door video that'll be coming out. I'm working on my front door, hoping to paint it yet this fall. We're in mid-September, actually starting late September now. Um, we will be at in the fall season in a few days, but you're seeing this in November because this is my metaphysical Monday for November. And what do I have to say about November? Well, you will see this after November 1st. And I will be telling you about some things that I have done in the past um, for meditation purposes. One was Sage Goddess had this little saying, um, Sage Goddess a few years ago for uh, Samhain, actually, we were celebrating, it was, I think it was called I don't know, some kind of black ball or something like that. But what it was is uh, to think about our ancestors on November 1st, which we do, as Catholics we do anyway. Um, it's All Saints Day. And so what I did is I had this chain of small uh, smoky quartz spheres. That's this dark stone that I have in my little cat and my earrings here are smoky quartz that I have on today. Not this one, but the darker ones. And they're protection stone. And we meditated by putting silk around the stones. Now I hope I can find that. This is, like I said, late September. I hope I can find that. I saw it a few weeks ago, but I wanted to bring it out here right now to show you but it's not meant to be, so next year maybe I'll show you it or some other time. But I'm going to be taking some other silk cords that I planned on doing a few years ago, the next year, but I'm gonna do it this year. I found the cord, so I know that it's coming, that I will be doing this soon. I have to let Mazda in. Really went outside for any reason other than to see what I was doing <laughs> from that perspective. I don't know. Anyway. My dog's fun. <laughs> I have something here that I put up because I was looking for something else, but that's okay. I want this here because I want to put it away later and use it for something. So I'm going to keep it there. <laughs> I have on my sideboard here some new items, but before I do that, since I was talking about um, things of the past and I, I don't I, I bought one thing this month from Sage Goddess because they had these nice sales and there was one thing that spoke to me, but it's not quite the same since they've been having some issues with a divorce and stuff like that, which uh, those are hard and I totally understand that after seeing my daughter go through what she's gone through. Anyway, this is Celestine, and Celestine we use because it, it's literally something that brings your ancestors and uh, spirit guides around you. So we can meditate with this, it's a very pretty one. I have uh, some larger specimens that um, are very natural that I put out kind of usually on my desk somewhere, um, which is kind of like my work sacred space kind of area. and. Um, my creative area. It's, I don't necessarily create there, but it's where the thinking and everything and planning goes into effect. I kind of, a lot of times, do stuff in my easy chair, but anyway, so that's a nice Celestine piece, and it's real pretty, and I'll be using that for me during meditation. This is a piece of Celestine so that you can see what it looks like naturally, and again, this would be something that Maybe not this year because, you know, things are still, I have a four-year-old grandson who's autistic around the house and uh, he's not quite ready for having every pretty out. But this one almost looks like a fluorite. I wonder if I mislabeled it, but I don't think so. Anyway, 
This is supposed to be Celestine. It comes like this. It's maybe a different, it's a clearer version of it. Uh, more aqua in color. That's why it almost looks like fluorite to me. I wonder if it was mislabeled. So I might use my finder on this one, but it's very pretty. And fluorite is another thing that as we move into the lighter part of the year, um, you know, this is called shadow season, but in a month, you know, like we're entering shadow season in a few days in my timeline, you're in the midst of shadow season. We're doing shadow work. Um, I have a book that I had hoped to use. I'm not sure if I'm going to put that back to next year. I'm going to look again at it. I've been doing a lot of shadow work, looking at all old online journals and going through looking at some things that have been holding me back. And uh, I used my moon journal the other night. Um, so I'm doing shadow work, but in kind of a more organic way um, right now. But I might do a little more formal if I look at that book and it looks like it would help push me through. Otherwise, I may keep that for next year and we'll look at it more. But remember, I showed you that in a haul a couple of months ago, maybe a month or two ago. and. Um, you know, there are lots of different shadow work guides that can guide you through this time. Um, you do most of your primary work by November 1st. And now we're thinking of ancestors and um, we'll be starting to think about going into the light a little bit more as we get into Yule and then everything starts getting lighter. You start seeing that change in January um, and February 1st with Imbolc and, and so on. Um, Groundhog Day for those of those people that aren't, you know, knowledgeable about pagan practices, that kind of does the same thing. Um, but anyway, and I'm just knowledgeable about pagan practices. I'm a Christian. Just, just want to clarify that. This is Aura Quartz Crystal that uh, has a metallic to it. It's just pretty, and I like it out. You know, kind of at this time of year starting to think about lighter things. So I have that in my November bag of goodies. And I have it, actually it's uh, tan, Tanzina, Tanzine Aura Quartz. It's Tanzine Aura Quartz. I don't know if it's like supposed to be, it's not Tanzanite because Tanzanite would be Tanzine Aura Quartz it says. Anyway, I have that in my November shadow bag and I'm sure that that you know, goes along with it. It's very pretty anyway. Nice energy on it. Again, something you can hold in meditation. Then Numite um, is another one and I'll read a little bit about Numite here. Numite is, <laughs> sorry about that. Numite is one of the oldest stones on the planet, found in only one region in Greenland. It's often called Sorcerer's Stone and holds ancient wisdom and connection to the elders. Numite also heals, protects, and activates the root chakra carry with you in place of, in a minute, just some pouches so on. Now, this is Numite, and I have two of them, so I could hold one in each hand um, if I wanted to, and kind of look for knowledge of my ancestors and elders. Um, to guide me and think back to their words and so on. So that's new might. Again, something that one might use during November because the veil supposed to be is supposedly, and you know, I find that um, as someone who has some psychic tendencies, it is a little closer where um, I will feel the presence of my uh, ancestors a little bit more at this time of year and moving forward. In fact, as I did this, there was a little shake, and um, now I feel like I'm like Sloan, <laughs> and she'll have hers um, fog up and stuff when she talks about people who have passed and this sort of stuff. But anyway, I just had that, and my feet. I looked to see if my feet were touching, and I, they weren't. So that's interesting. I'm hearing creaks behind me. <laughs> Somebody's something's funny here. <laughs> of course, that could be me, but that's me. <laughs> it's herd or ox. 
I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's uh, something that I have in November. And if I can find the name of it, I will look it up because I did get it. I want to say, I can't remember if I got it from Etsy or not, but it was something. There were smaller things that Sage Goddess had, and I have a couple of pieces of this, and it makes me mad that I did the label of it in there. I'll have to look for it. But um, I have another piece that I keep out all the time, so I'll see if I have it there. I'm hoping I do, and I can tell you what it is, but it's something that in the United States, there's one spot where this comes from, and uh, I use this in November. It has things that help us through the season. So we have, or this month, I should say, and then finally I have honey calcite. And that's another thing that I'll have out and about at this time of year is honey calcite. And uh, this was one that was a really good thing for some of the things that my brother had. And I had hoped would help him a little bit. And maybe they did, maybe they didn't, I don't know. But um, that's how I discovered it because he had certain issues that it might help. Honey calcite heals unsolved emotional issues relating to a mother figure. Its nurturing vibration brings gentle protection, optimism, and insight. Honey calcite is a solar plexus stone and helps you integrate an external wisdom. So, but I, I think it also does like things for kidneys and that sort of thing. And that's why I got it, but I, you'll have to look that up. But somehow I thought it had something to do with that. I thought that's what I got it for for him, but I'm not sure now. This one I got from Sage Goddess, and um, I don't know. I don't really have emotional issues relating to a mother figure, so I may, it may be a little, but not very many. Um, my mom was really probably there were, there was a little bit because I'm not sure she wanted, I was told she didn't want me at first. But she, you know, another friend, a friend of mine told me it doesn't matter what they, you know, I'm sure because he was born when his parents were in their 40s and he said, I'm sure my parents weren't real thrilled when I was coming along, but you know, it's how they treat you afterwards. And, you know, I think he was right. That was a good perspective on it. I learned that from him and I think that's, that's a, a, a good way to look at it. Um, I had some issues with my father and then that came up that I, he hurt me in ways I never expected that he could have during his life, but I didn't learn about them until I was 60 years old and I've been dealing with that and not well some days. <laughs> to be frank, it's it's been hard, especially because we had a lot of other things that went on in our life. Now on to the November goodies. And because we're heading into the light, these are things that maybe I would use more as we get into the new year. But um, some of these things are. But I'm going to be working on using them because uh, during writing November because um, I'm going to be doing some writing and I want to manifest a novel <laughs> that I will be able to you know, try to publish. So that's eventually. So that's something that I'm trying to do. But first of all, I have these. Bloodstone. Now bloodstone is really good for healing some of the things that I have, especially my IBS issues and, you know, that kind of thing. So that's why my colitis. So I want to wear them more regularly, and I think of this as kind of like something that you might use in November and October, too. So I have that around for that purpose. And uh, I didn't have one. Um, I also got... some blue tiger's eye. I think these are really pretty. Kind of a blackish thing. Again, I might use these in October too. They look good for this time of year. You might see these on future videos. Um, 
They're like tiger's eye, but they have that dark blue color. I don't know if you can see it in the slide exact there. Maybe you saw that blue flash. Hoping you did. They have a very subtle dark navy blue. Um, but they almost have like, they look a little bit like Labradite, but not, you know, not as, not that Labradescence that you see. Then I got a few loose stones. And I'm going to put the name of these up. They're a very different kind of paint stone, and I'll... hand is sticking with the other one. I have to clean that off. Isn't that a different color? And I thought they were really pretty and I didn't have that kind of specimen so I got it. it, it you had to get a couple of things. So I got some cabochons. I can stick them on different things, glue them on things, you know, wands or something like that like I have or that's another one, or wire wrap them. And this one, this one I hope I can wire wrap some time, but we'll see. With that little sticky thing on there, I'm not sure. I'll have to work to get that gummy stuff out. They must have had its sticker on it and sticker not taken off, but anyway. And then, I want to say that, yep, this is a Labradite, I believe, in a little bit, sort of a beige color, a little different colored Labradite. Oh, that was pretty. Golden Labradite. So, I didn't have anything like that, so I don't know quite how I'll set these, but these are stones that sometime in the future I'll set in something or wire wrap. So that's the plan for those. Now, that is if I ever get back to doing the metal work I did. I don't see how that's going to happen, but it might someday. Or I'll take it somewhere and have it done for my me. That's also a possibility. I can try to wire wrap these. This is so pretty. I really do want this set by someone, I think, because it's so pretty. So I'll save that for someone that really knows what they're doing to do for me one day, maybe. We'll see. But it's certainly neat. Then, I have something from another shop that had some nice ways of wrapping things. Again, I'll try to put the shops that they came from in the description like I did in October. I have to do that today, by the way, because that's going to come up pretty soon. But um, this is one that's already set. And I can identify it once I see it. And it's gorgeous, not just in front, but in back. It has this I wanna say I don't even know what stone it is anymore, but look at how the back has a leaf. Isn't that gorgeous? And um I'll I'll try to put what stone in the shop underneath right here for you. Finally, I come to two pieces that came from the same shop and these are made with um, Argonite and they're supposed to be manifestation type pieces. 
but I just thought they were really pretty and cool and would be fun to meditate with. And uh, the reason I'm thinking about manifestation for November is of course I'm going to be doing Nano November again and trying to write 50,000 words. And I think I'm just gonna do in whatever I write because I, I probably wrote 50,000 words last November, but it wasn't where it was supposed to be in my novel, but I'll be, I did work on my novel. I think I got 3,000 of my words in there, but I didn't quite make what I wanted. <laughs> anyway, I'll keep track of my word count and try to do that. Uh, 50,000 words in November and isn't that fun? That is fun and that's something I probably will have out on my desk all the time to just sit and wonder about. It's like a little universe in there and it's so pretty. Those purple and teal colors that I like introducing into my blue space here. So I love that. And this is really the first time I've really looked at it. I saw it online, but it's just a fun little piece. And it came from a shop called Galaxy Pyramid. And they have pyromidus, meaning fire in the middle. Craft is key when casting a galaxy into reality. In between you and me, dancing with the reins, balancing foundation where it begins. The chosen sides of what the heartbeat is bringing, quantum, entanglement, laughter, and singing. Solidly spiraling upwards, created by reflection, four corners filled in by dense, colorful light and vibrations. C.R. Bascotti. It's called the Colorful Cosmic Vortex, above a toss stone base. And it says collectible poetry, spiritual material, high vibes, I, energy factory, authentic energetic craftsman by C.R. Bacotti, something like that. Anyway, isn't that cool? And that goes with my beautiful pyramid. It has a little universe in it. So something to think about with that. And then for manifestation, oh, somewhere I got a piece of Chris Barrel from, I don't know if it wasn't this shop, a gift of gratitude. But I got a piece of Chris Barrel and it's taped like this. Let's see, nice little thank you note from one of these shops. And I think it's from this one, because I think it's a CR, so it was this one. So isn't that neat, a little piece of crisp barrel? And I'm gonna have to put that in a bag and, you know, look up its metaphysical properties. And but I don't think I have a crisp barrel, so that was neat to get. So I'm excited about that. And, This is the big piece. I've been kind of waiting to to wear pretty regularly, actually, I hope to. So you hopefully will see this as I get into a more regular routine with my writing and stuff and jewelry making and so on after this month. While the weather is clean, I'm working on my house, but then I'll get into more of a routine. A work of art as well as a tool, a divine design to remind that we are always living with a cosmic school, all for purpose of sharing the divine. See Wonder on Instagram. High Vibes Energy Factory. Support and acquire Etsy.com shop High Vibes. Etsy coupon gratitude. Also. And this is Notes for Care. Clean polish with a soft cloth. Uh, gives me the kicker notes. So lots of good information regarding the stone. Um, inside there's lots to read too. So I'm gonna have to read that. 
and then it has a little manifestation poem by C.R. Bacatia and Bacati. Ether is the beginning of realization of beginning center. It says manifestation. Ether is the beginning, the realization of being, center and the whole. A breath of air creates thought, accepting feelings of what we trust more than what we know. Shine some light with one's fire, be clear and knowledgeable. Focus on what we desire, run with the natural boundaries, create a river of flow, fluid density as the emotional earth nurtures this from the head to toe, a beautiful experience, the birth of mountain spring. Create your soul, spiritual experience, allow your voice to sing, feel your body grow. So another piece, another card and poem. So I don't know, I might put those up somewhere. Kind of cool. And inside I feel like I lost the piece that I had I have here what happened I feel like I lost something huh? oh it isn't I didn't <laughs> I had this upside down I was like where did it go I saw it I didn't realize it was in a box or something. I'm losing it. I'm getting very silly. And I asked for a longer chain. I don't know if I got one, but I can always put a longer chain on it. I'm hoping. Uh, it doesn't go over my head. I'll probably put a longer chain on it. But isn't that pretty? It's kind of... Metrodon. Metrodon. So for manifestation. And uh, I could put it on. I'm not going to do that right now because I always clear everything I get, but especially things like this. But again, it's that uh, Argonite. Lots of stones within that composite. And uh, it's really pretty. I can see Labradorite on the top. and. Of beautiful, beautiful things. And it's gonna be really pretty. I want I want it to hang low, so I'll probably put it on a, a cord, I'm thinking, and have it hang very low. But um, it's really pretty. So I do like that. And uh, that kind of has a lot of angelic mythology behind it. Uh, source energy, which is God to me, but um, you can believe whatever you want to believe. <laughs> anyway, so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this very long November.